It is recording right now. Here we um, go. Yep, I'm excited. Um, so I guess we should start off by kind of just stating the the opinion that me and you have disagreed upon because yeah. obviously something went different there. Okay. So, so I believe personally uh, that Artemis is of numerous things, but mainly a scam uh, because of what it's actually produced over its lifetime. And you believe what? I can't believe that Artemis is like still worked upon and is going to end up being a good project in the end. Okay. So would you say you agree or disagree? Okay. So like, um, I wouldn't call the... Um, current version of Artemis a scam but you know if he was like trying to sell it on um, a website for like $29.99 you know it would kind of be disingenuous uh the point I'm using is that his claims make it a scam um let me actually pull up his claims to be exact real quick the claims I'm referring to are on artemis.ac I'll uh I'll link that first thing I want to outline is just his extreme boldness to claim that it's an enterprise grade anti-cheat when it's really not uh it's never been and i don't think it will ever be a, like the current version that artemis has being distributed to customers is awful um it can literally be disabled by phasing you can uh use infinite reach you can like the it i made a meme about it um so you're saying that artemis is like a scam because you found that bypass in the prediction system no that's not even current that's not even like current dev version that's the version that customers have right now yes to technicality yes it is still a scam and even the version that's in the dev version is still i would still count as a scam it's no it, the quality is nowhere close to what they're advertising and the quality is nowhere close to what they're charging for they're charging annually it's 60 dollars a year and 120 dollars a year for for enterprise 120 60 for standard and for life it's a hundred dollars for standard and 200 dollars for enterprise yeah i saw um, it on the website and yeah and he said that the de developer edition which i'm assuming is just basically him hiring you as a developer uh can be thousands of dollars this anti-cheat is not worth thousands of dollars even with source code I would price this anti-cheat like after testing it and having friends test it and seeing that from their perspective i would price this anti-cheat at maybe 15 bucks 15 20 dollars it's got checks that you know are good it's got i will admit you know it's it's improved its uh mo its movement uh it's i believe entirely downgraded its combat from what it originally was even though the original stuff was still heavily unstable this stuff is even more unstable and is even less likely to pick stuff up it honestly kind of actually looks like he pasted some of the checks from his old version which i mean he would have rights to but it looks like he pasted some of the checks from his old version and then literally just like added some new ones it really doesn't feel like he's put a, almost any work into it one of the main points i've been making throughout this entire time not like not with you but like in general with, yep. when i was calling out gas is that he spent like almost nine months working on this anti-cheat to get it to where it currently is and the fact that it's taken him nine months and you can still false aim and speed checks by literally doing vanilla motions like i showed in the video you could shake your head and literally yeah. false the anti-cheat like that there's no excuse for that there's literally no reason it, that it, should it happen. was it was just a bug he he talked to me about it uh and not only that but it, i i do have a theory i do have a hypothesis about uh why it, why it wasn't like updated as regularly before because like right now i'm looking at the update log on the um, artemis testing server right and you know it's updated quite frequently i think that before the whole um, testing server being opened up thing he didn't really have the same amount of uh, motivation to like update the anti-cheat i'm definitely seeing a brighter future right now i'm definitely seeing like this is um the call that needed to be made to motivate him to start developing the anti-cheat i could see that from your perspective i actually i could totally understand that because from your perspective you're looking at it from a standpoint of like okay so he needs tests to get data and to see that you know there is falses yep um and i could i actually i totally understand that uh when when we were doing overflow one of the main issues that we had was just like we couldn't stress test it without having to have certain people be there the only disagreement i have there the only disagreement i have there is the motivation claim 
I actually was one of the people that called Gast out when he tried to literally open source a project that he was selling at that time for $160. This is one of the main things that caused him to think that I broke the agreement me and him had during the ending of the last uh, whatever the fuck happened, where basically we both agreed to not talk about each other. And then I had been literally tipped off within two weeks of that agreement that Gast actually had already started talking shit again. He basically tried to de deny it and I didn't care. I didn't, I didn't go on with it. But in that uh, announcement, he basically um, outlines how he wants to either sell it, I believe, or open source it. And I could actually understand your perspective of, you know, not, not, not having motivation. My only issue is this. Why did it take someone exposing him for him to lose motivation? Because he, that, that video does not represent him at all before my videos came out on him. Like that video, he is the polar opposite of that before my videos came out on him. Why does it take someone calling him out for him to stop wanting to make money off a project that hadn't been updated at that time for about like a month? You know, I do see your point and it's quite clear and it's quite understandable. Like I'm not really trying to defend Gast. I'm actually just here like I'm being neutral. So I see I see why your uh, past with Gast was in uh, that kind of um, justifies for you um, how you've been uh, like treating him cuz now it makes sense cuz like you know he's been shit talking you, you've been shit talking him, right? Mhm. Mm yeah, that's uh, that's well, a lot okay, more clear that, now. So this is actually something I actually re I really respect you for this. Your way of making videos, you have a neutral approach to things, and I I, I really fucking respect that. That's something I, I I'm trying to can when uh, making this Artemis video, but. A lot of people don't have that perspective. A lot of people have the perspective that yeah. I'm just out for blood and that I'm just out to attack Gast because that's what Gast has painted me as. Gast has tried to make it seem as if he has all the proof to disprove me and is just not willing to show it and that I have no proof to disprove him and I have shown it. So when I was making the uh, the video on Artemis, the original videos on Artemis before he struck down my channel uh, illegally, I had publicly made statements wait, wait, telling wait. Gast- Taking down your channel illegally? I, I don't know yeah. anything about this. He had, uh, yeah, he had issued copyright strikes literally illegally and it actually, it literally later on admitted that he knew he had illegally issued these and had struck down my channel because of one of the videos I made. Ooh, that, that hits a personal spot. <laughs> Because I know yeah, how it I know. feels like to that's get why, Exactly. That's why I thought... So let me clarify because it's it's a technicality that really shouldn't be like a thing at all. Technically, he didn't get my channel taken down. Technically, what he did was just was falsely copyright strike my video. And then I fought it. But I fought it with someone that was trying to help me fight the copyright strike. So I was more effective with my wording. And I tried to route the copyright strike through him so that he could handle it more easily. Uh, Yeah, more easily yeah. for me. And an out come of that was the fact that my channel got taken down for like fraudulent identity when in technicality i wasn't really trying to fraud like fraudulently hide myself i was just i just yeah. fucked up and used the yeah so yeah had he not issued a strike on my channel for literally just making a video on him he plays devil's advocate a lot to give you a little bit of backstory about a year and a half almost two years i studied psychology i have a pretty decent understanding of when something's happening and like pointing out like when it's happening so i i I had made an outline actually here wait let me go get it so i had made an outline specifically detailing uh gast and just one prime example of him manipulating someone into not talking shit about artemis so i'll just read it so example two manipulation manipulation is defined yeah, as a type of social yeah, influence um, yeah. um, okay so prime an example let me look in the png the first one so in this he basically tries to make this guy not continue anything with him by saying that he has a savior's complex which actually is not at all what this guy has what gas is doing is a defensive mechanism and manipulation where he is putting himself purposefully at a weak state to appear like he agrees with him i actually pointed this out i said uh gas knows this uh this so he is manipulating lights by claiming that uh he has a savior complex and basically needs to focus on himself uh you can see an example and then yeah. i basically pointed out like how he made a very risky move uh uh, Gas is playing off uh, the consciousness of uh, Lights and others who will be reading this message. He knows that by saying he knows why Lights believes this uh, and then dismissing his claims, he can easily make the guy, along with other people, feel like Lights started it when technically the argument was started by Gas. And then I stated something that was in my own opinion. But basically, from my point of view, from like a like psychology point of view, this is literally what manipulation looks like. He is trying to make this guy feel like Gas is not only the victim here in that situation but is also the victim of falsehoods in the past first i want to point this out gast has never provided proof to disprove any of the things i ever claimed he just said the video was fake 
That was literally it. The only video he ever uploaded to quote disprove anything was a video trying to call me out for racism. That literally is it. That is all he ever did to provide proof. He said he had hours of proof and never provided any of it. I see. So it's kind of like if imagine if you made a review on Overflow, okay? And you upload this review to your channel and all of this, and I see it and Overflow's still going and all that. And I say, okay, um, and I, I go in and make I go and make an announcement. Now he didn't make announcements, I'm pretty sure he just made statements in his Discord, but let's say I go and make an announcement. The way I would approach it if I was gassed is I would literally just say, oh, this guy is lying to everyone. And if someone ever asked me, I would just be like, yeah, I have tons of proof. And then if they ask for me to show that, I'll just be like, well, now's not the right time. I'm compiling it all. That's literally what he said. He said he was compiling a legal document to disprove me and that he had lawyers and people willing to advise him showing proof that I had lied. He never provided the document, any of the people or the proof. And he still to this day tries to claim that there was never proof of it. I literally went out of my way and contacted every single person he skidded from, manipulated, or scammed. So... Every single person that came forward. And he said all of them were lying and all of them were just sucking my dick. Interesting. So, yeah, you can look at it from your perspective of, like, when I, when we were talking and I said, personally, I stopped selling Overflow when there was not a weekly update, da 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 da, -da. Um, I said, I understand your POV, but I wish I could call with you so you could fully understand. And you said, let's say you're right. And then you said, I'm not, uh, but let's say you were. Your, uh, your obnoxious comments and then da da da, -da. So, basically, when I responded and I said, you know, I'm respecting your ill-informed opinion, that's, I wasn't trying to insult you. I was literally trying to tell you, like, no, no, no. I, I, wasn't, know I wasn't feeling I know personally you attacked. Informed. No, no, no. I wasn't feeling personally attacked, oh, okay, but good. I was saying that those comments kind of devalue your opinion because a lot of times a lot of people do toxicity. care about yeah, um, no, it's not really toxicity, but like you know, a lot of people care more about the person say expressing an opinion rather than, than the opinion being right or wrong. So you mm -hmm. know, you need to keep that in mind a lot of times. Uh, you need to be really careful. It's just advice. I'm not really trying to be like insulting no, or understand. condescending because no, like I understand. you seem to have packed everything nicely. Okay, like you have even formatted this uh, manipulation thing which I, I assume is part of a bigger document which i'd be glad to see personally uh actually no 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 so i'm uh, i'm admin in mac or manager or whatever the fuck you want to call it yep um so i like to help people out and like point out things i i because i studied psychology i absolutely fucking hate when people use like psychology level tactics against people who are defenseless to them such as things like manipulation the mott and bailey fallacy let's see what's another one i pointed out gaslighting things like that like things that yeah. most people are completely defenseless to and have no clue how to describe them and how to defend against them. Uh, I made a channel literally for the staff members with prime examples of how what it looks like so that in the case that they see something happening, they know what it looks like and they know what to do if something yeah. ever happens. I mean, um, I, I'm personally familiar with all of these concepts because of Among Us, but you know... <laughs> So my question is, do you know what the Mott and Bailey fallacy is? I don't know it by name, but I'm going to be confident and say that I do know what the concept is. But okay, I, so could could you could um, not even like a kind saying wait? Could you like tell me? Because uh, I, I, I I would love to like help you. Let me look it up. So what what was it called? The, okay, so whilst you're going to read it, basically a Mott, the Mott and Bailey fallacy is both a type of political approach uh, to an argument, and it's also a type of marketing approach to an argument. So the Mott and Bailey fallacy is used in marketing marketing as so let's say I'm advertising Overflow, okay? Yep. Now, what I'm going to do, and I actually did this during Overflow, and I'm willing to admit this, and I have admitted this publicly numerous times. Uh, during Overflow, I used the Mott and Bailey fallacy to get attention, and it's very easy and it's very effective. What you do is I basically would say, okay, Overflow is the best anti-cheat on the market. That gets your attention right away. Uh -huh. You instantly want to come and interact with me and at least disprove that or make me change my opinion. When you approach me and you say, oh, Overflow isn't the best in the, on the market, I would literally say, this can you tell me where i said that you would say oh yeah sure and before you posted proof i would say no 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 what i said was yeah, yeah overflow you just is one it. of the best yeah exactly now here's the thing here's the thing the martin bailey fallacy protects that in saying so i said overflow is the the best on the market but overflow is one of the best is a lot easier to defend it sounds almost the exact same but is a lot yeah. easier to defend yeah. he uses this during artemis so what he'll do is he'll make something up um, about artemis a very broad claim and then he'll back out of the claim with something that sounds very similar and some actually has slipped by me numerous times that sounds like it's the exact same thing almost yeah. identical except for a modification well, of one thing 
Let me tell you something. I don't think he's been uh, thinking as much as you were about this because, you know, a lot of people do this naturally. This comes naturally to a lot of people, this yeah, uh, know, psychological stuff. And no, um, oh, oh, no, 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 no. I know. I Trust me. I, I, yeah, I'm I well aware because yeah, the, I way know he, you know. Uh, the way he approaches things is so careless. Uh, if he was purposefully doing this, it's the least advantageous approach he's ever taken. Any psychologist would have ever taken. There are so many different routes he could have taken to get out of beef that he never used by himself. Like, I was really... I was like, dude, there is so much shit I could have said here to get me out of this. No, uh, no, I totally understand. It's probably just instinct and it's a bad habit of lying that has formed this reliability that he thinks yeah. uh, he can use to get out of conversations. But the thing but is, um, the thing is, you know, I do understand. Um, he's trying to like, uh, you know, bullshit people a bit with these claims. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, why is like the deemed release state? Like what? Like, is it no, called no released release or, or is no, it? There's no deemed release. Okay. So like, so, um, yeah. it doesn't deem itself as released, but you see, even though there's these price tags and these customers, they are aware of what they're actually buying, you know? No, they weren't. So I can actually disprove that. Okay. So when th this is, this is one of the best parts about having just lines and lines and lines of proof on this kid. So if actually I'll link you this thread. So this is the thread that he uses to advertise Artemis or at least the old Artemis. Uh, some of the claims on here in um, infer that he has, or not infer, sorry, what's the wording? Yeah, I guess it would be infer that he has machine learning inside of his anti-cheat. For example, uh, if you literally the first line, what is Artemis? Artemis is a cutting edge enterprise level anti-cheat. Not only do we detect the vast majority of all possible cheats, uh, our systems actively monitor and improve every single day. Now, just off that one line alone, if I was a customer and I saw that, and let's say I had no prior knowledge of how anti-cheats worked, which most of his customers don't, then I would literally think, okay, this anti-cheat doesn't even need to be updated because it constantly is monitored and improved but, every single day. Yeah, but the, like it's probably just bad wording here because what he means by monitored and improved is that they monitor the performance of the anti-cheat by testing it and tweak it so it doesn't fall or it doesn't bypass, right? Like that's what every anti-cheat does. That would work. Your ex actually not your excuse, but your reasoning would work if he hadn't had the wording at the very end saying every single day. That literally your entire explanation would have made sense had he not said every single day. That is an entire false advertisement in itself. Because so, what that in yeah, what that that, yeah, that, 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 that implies that anti yeah yeah that implies that he's updating every single imply, day. Imply that's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Not infer. Imply. Sorry, I I totally fucking lost my train of yeah. thought there. But yeah, it's, it, it's yeah. fine. It implies that the anti-cheat is constantly and still is being up updated when it is in fact not. There's also a lot of just useless stuff on this thread. For example, for, for example, some of the craziest stuff that he has advertised here that literally just makes no sense. Two types of cores at disposal. Yeah, the first one, top left, uh, says two types of cores at disposal. Light and full core. Be minimalistic and maximize the features. Here's the thing that contradicts this, though. When I made a video on Artemis, the, one of the videos that he tried to lie and say was just a cracked version, which he later admitted he knew was not a cracked version, I actually validly proved that Artemis was extremely heavy and was not only extremely heavy, but was extremely unstable and there was like nothing like there were no configuration settings that said oh minimalist core like give me a second let me go actually get In interesting the... yeah let me uh, let me hold up give me a second. let me go get the core real quick. first oh, of all oh. um you keep you can keep in mind the fact that this is like the old thread uh but second of no, all i know i know let me uh, let me go back in time and uh, check for the timing support. Well, how did timing? Links... Oh, I, I have one if you want. Cause, one yeah, because like he did make a timing report on the test server, uh, like on the twelfth. Yeah, that was using like eight percent of the CPU when it was like ten players. Kind of kind of worrying. It was like it, it was really it was really heavy. Okay, I mean I can't really vouch for it being too heavy because you know uh, when we tested it was like at full twenty all the time. But you it know I was be. like um, yeah I it see used it, to be it, really it, heavy. It, I, yeah I I okay so so it was heavy you're saying? Yeah I ah oh, dude I wish I had the fucking video. In the video I showed it I literally laughed because of what I saw. So I was recording I had re-recorded a, a few times and then I had never gotten to the stage of showing the timings. And and when I saw the timings, I literally exploded out with laughter with how fucking terrible it was. Like, I was just surprised because of how much he had advertised it as being this super light, un like, no touching the server uh, anti-cheat, that it was actually not at all, and that that was another claim that he had lied about. I, I just can't remember. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll I can't really prove that, so I'm not going to go out of my way to... Yeah. 
to try, but um now this so remind this reminds me of one thing. So like um the same happened with Sparring. A lot of the claims that it, it had on the main page weren't applicable to the current version as they were in the past. And you know, I called him out mm -hmm. on it, but the thing is he acknowledged it after being called out and even changed them and even apologized and said that he should start being less specific and stuff. How how did Gast react if uh, providing that you did call him out on those claims? Uh like the ones on the the ones on the MC market thread did you call him out for um lying and stuff or did you not uh yeah he reacted by getting my account on mc market band oh i see yeah uh i left a negative reputation on his account uh you can actually go to his account and probably see it if you have an account on there um, i don't but yeah, and, i get the idea oh yeah don't, don't worry about it then it's not worth it but um basically I, I like made a negative reputation like saying like he was a hypocrite and all these other things and then uh he basically copied my exact reasoning posted like 20 random screenshots of dms between me and him and then left a negative reputation on my account and then went to staff like dug through my entire github to find one thing that i might not have had rights to had no proof that i didn't have rights to it and then got me banned for it so just he's just an amazing guy um i, I see but and also his other ways of responding to criticism is usually just banning or blocking or just dismissing it entirely. So he's not new to, I'm going to be entirely honest before you said it, like in your, before I watched all the way into your video and I saw you like make a review, I was like, I give this like a week. Like I thought he was going to strike down your video. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. He doesn't care. He tries to play victim every time he does something wrong. For example, when I originally exposed him for skidding, uh, which I mean, literally the entire Mac discord was exposing him for ripping code from other developers and then having to buy rights to it after they called him out uh he did this to paladin i actually literally have dms between oh. me and the developer developers of paladin i i read it for like the for like the big uh, incoming strike that you're gonna hear so like we were playing bad ways like uh, um we were in a call for a while and like uh, this is mm -hmm. like right before you messaged me and stuff and like um yeah, uh, hydrogen was like yeah we, i should make a website called um ac market like mc market but for anti-cheats uh -huh. and i was like yeah and every anti-cheat should have on the front page a review from uh, Oreo Easy, the most trustworthy third party anti cheat reviewer. As you know, I was memeing about it. Uh -huh. And then Gas was like, Yeah, dude, totally unbiased. Uh, you said that um, you said the, you only showed false positives in your Artemis video. And I was like, Bro, but like the uh, the aim GCD checks uh, was like uh, falsing and stuff. And, and uh, I wasn't saying it's bad, I was just saying it's not as good as Vulcan. And then he told me to go on the test server, right? And it was like, and it was like flagging a lot, but then I started playing legit and it was still flagging then i um uh, went on to vanilla and it was still flagging then he um said he tweaked it i went on the server again uh it didn't flag my kill or either um no it, uh, it stopped yeah, flagging yeah. everything including my killer well it, it did to show you something it did flag it uh but not really too much but you know it's it was, Wait, it was what check did it flag? uh aim gcd right it was like okay so let me ask you uh if i told you right now that if you logged onto that test server i could give you instructions on how to false almost all of his movement pretty much all of his combat i, I, I already know that myself don't worry about it oh no 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 like something that you wouldn't expect to false his anti-cheat like what okay. uh you can also flag fly by pa bad packets by just literally sneaking and getting onto a ladder you obviously haven't seen this one here wait let me post it but i posted you know, this a couple days you know, ago yeah i i know that and i've reported the bugs i've reported the bugs into like the artemis test server into the bugs channel and you know they're slowly but surely getting fixed and you know it's gonna be fine it's slowly but surely getting fixed only because they're being reported and that's what's worrying me is the ones that aren't going to be reported he just has no clue exists and he's still gonna try and claim that he has a perfect prediction system well you know okay so thing is about the prediction system it's a very ambitious thing to do to make like uh, uh to make all your movement checks and everything uh, fully based on the prediction system it's yeah well here's the here's the thing Thing. it's it's super ambitious and I, I i would respect it if if he was knowledgeable in what he claimed um so this is going to be a, a bomb for you but uh Ooh, here okay um so i was i had an argument with the staff team at mac because they didn't believe that i actually had proof of what i claimed because i was claiming that gas did not know how to develop prediction systems. And their claim was basically that like they knew because they had seen code. So Gast claims he does not understand Killora checks at all. He says that he literally had to get elevated to make them for him, which means he doesn't understand keep sprint or any of the checks. Yeah, like straight so thing or... Yeah, let me just go pull up the document where he literally tried to pay people to make him his prediction 
system. I mean, I'm not really sure if that's a bad thing, you know, paying people to uh, help you out code something. It is pretty bad. It is pretty bad because now he's trying to advertise that he's the only one that ever worked on it. Uh, when in reality, he actually did a developer for hire competition that was private, invite only, and very few people. Thankfully, he was stupid enough to invite one of the people that was an informant for me. And literally the exact thing that he tries to claim he can do, he was begging people to do for him. I see. Yeah. So it becomes outstandingly clear that... That so far, he can't make predictions, can't make kill aura checks, he obviously can't produce stable movement checks. What can he do? Well, I mean, the movement checks are getting stabler and stabler, you know, just... Um, Here, wait, I, 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 I want to just prove this just real quick. Here, screen share real quick. I, I can... I'll just live show you how to false his anti-cheat. Okay, can... um, I'm gonna join here, right? <laughs> Look at this shit. Okay, uh, go over to those, and then yep. you'll see a cobweb one, right? Uh, yep, I see it. Yeah, go to the cobwebs. Yep. And then just go to the one that's three high. To, um, yeah, no, no, like, yeah, yeah, the one, like, right behind it. Okay, so the fourth? Yep, and then, uh, yeah, and then just jump. Oh, hold no, on. No, like, jump and, jump and, yeah, you have to, yeah. Yeah. Just, I... just, just interact with cobwebs. Actually, go, um, go over to the, uh, glass panes. To you my see right. the beds? The nuker beds. Oh, over there. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, and then you see the beds in glass panes? Yeah. Yep. Break I that. Oh, uh, the bed? Like, okay. break, break, yeah, break, no, no, like, break to get in. Like, break to, break oh, the glass to get in. Okay. And well, then just jump in the middle and then jump. Yeah, it's um crazy checks. Uh you can also false his anti cheat here. Uh fly up or whatever so you can get out of there. And then um just go over this is by the way, I'm just gonna show you three of these so you can easily uh get them fixed because they're just embarrassing. Go over to the uh a target attack, uh, like target aura. Yeah, the hitter guy, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh you'll see a button right by the target aura. Uh yeah, button oh. on the ground. Uh yep. Yeah. That okay. Uh click it and then just attack the attack the zombie. Just just attack it. Okay. Make sure to be sprinting. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Yep. You know... Yeah. He doesn't seem to be able to make any checks stable. Not just the checks he claims he doesn't know how to make. Yeah. It... But you can false all of the checks inside of his anti-cheat. And yeah, I did is... this for a span of five minutes. And by the way, you would have been banned by now. Yeah, I know. It's like 15 you get banned. So my question to you is, if this is what nine months of development looks like, this is what basically nine months of development looks like to you. Or to him, sorry. If there's stuff like that inside of nine months of development, what is there? What proof is there? Just like there was no proof before, what proof is there to make me believe that he isn't scamming people again? Well, w honestly, why am I supposed to change my opinion? I do. Re I can relate to having a project that I've kind of delayed development on and have been slacking off because, like, I don't think he's been as actively developing the anti cheat as he's been doing recently. So wait, then why would he be advertising that he is? He um, he went out of his way to publicly advertise how much he had dumped into Artemis. Uh, actually, here's even the announcement itself. Why would he go out of his way and advertise things such as that when he doesn't even have the most basic concepts of Minecraft fix? Like fucking literally not being able to fix cobwebs and attacking mobs and jumping in glass panes. Like why, what should make me stop telling people to not buy Artemis? Like I, I just don't understand. Well, that. you know, the, the glass panes one's oddly specific, but you know, and also what's the giant one, but you know, I do have to say that Artemis is, you know, it's not detecting everything but you know the thing is i'm definitely not gonna form an opinion myself like i do understand i definitely do understand why anyone else would but i personally don't want to form an opinion on something that isn't like deemed as like a released thing like if there was oh, like oh dude you fell victim to that one too okay no yeah, no, no. He, he, he didn't like tell me this uh, i i'm no, like I that myself I know. I know so there's a bit of a backstory to the i'm not gonna make an opinion because it's beta thing originally when i made my videos on artemis i was making my videos on the released version yeah let me ask you what do you think gas defense to that was you told he me he tried to basically say that oh the development version's so much better don't believe anything he says because my beta version is so much better that's not even really a yeah. finished version yeah it, not only that but that's not really an argument like oh dude what would you say is trash like yeah the the thing that you bought is trash but the thing that you can't have access to that, that shit is, is uh, fire it's just amazing it's just amazing here's the best part do you know the time in the D in my DMs with you? I literally mentioned how like I had false to check so badly that he had literally just removed it, didn't even try to fix it. Yeah, um, I wasn't kidding. I used to be a buyer of Artemis. I used to I I got one of my buddies to buy uh -huh. me a copy of Artemis because I'm not gonna waste my money on that piece of crap. The guy later turned on me and tried to turn himself in because he thinks gas penis is just large. But anyways, uh -huh. so I guess I'm kind of a hypocrite because I literally said gas did the exact said that exact same stuff about people who defended me. But I'm kind of right in this because the guy literally is defending him only because he doesn't like me. 
Either way, so basically, I, I had a copy for nine months. Through that nine months, Gast released, I think it was like eight updates during the entire time that he was publicly selling his anti-cheat. Like it was like eight or nine. It might've been more like updates. So Gas didn't know that I was a buyer and you might ask yourself, oh, Dora, how do you know Gas didn't know that you were a buyer? And here's why. Um, if you go to the Artemis anti-cheat thread, oddly enough, and you just scroll down below the thread itself, mm -hmm. and then you go to the post where it says vouches. Literally the first vouch on that list is my account. Nice. And he later said he knew the entire time. Totally, dude. Uh -huh. I mean, that's why. That's I mean, why you used my example. It, it doesn't really mean shit that he didn't know that you were a buyer. But you know, whatever. I know. No. Yeah. No. No. That's that's to lead into another point. So basically, oh, okay. or that's to kind of like bring that up, and so I can make a point about it. So so he obviously didn't know. Okay. And because of this, I had the ability to contact him whenever I wanted to test the quote dev version that was so much better. So during this entire time, I was like, okay, I spread it out amongst you know the my tests, so I didn't make it look suspicious and i eventually started getting more and more tests until i got my last test where i false uh most of his movement all of his combat he claimed that he detected my kill aura uh, uh -huh. my last test sorry my last test on my uh on my main account uh, i false most of his movement i couldn't false actually i take it back i didn't false all of his combat that was that was a later test i couldn't false most of his combat and he couldn't claim that he detected any of my kill aura settings even though he later did because he himself even admitted that none of his kill aura checks were working he had turned them all off and then later Later, he tried to advertise that he had detected everything. And then later after that, even later after that, admitted that he was well aware that he had turned off all the checks and that he was just saying that to make fun of me. Interesting. It's it's just li it's the it's the little things that matter. You, you know you know uh, that part where he said to make fun of you. That reminds me mm -hmm. of that term called uh, the Schrodinger's douchebag. You know when you just say something and mm -hmm. then uh, based on people's reaction because you, you take it out it, of it. Yeah, whether yeah. it's a joke or not, you just <laughs> you just say where it's a joke or not. <laughs> Yeah, and here's the thing. I <laughs> I honestly, I, I felt bad for the people who bought, like who actually paid money for that anti-cheat for a couple reasons. But I believe one of my main reasons was because deep down I knew that what he was doing uh, was wrong and wasn't being called out by anyone because uh, of his approach. He is willing to pay people to not talk. Uh, he has done it numerous times. Oh, for um, real? Yeah. He is known in this community as the man of money. Guess why? Um, Because he has a lot of money. <laughs> That and the fact that like 90% of his anti-cheat is stuff that he bought rights to. Or at least 90% of the anti-cheat that he's currently selling. The development version, I've been told he's removed all of that, even though he probably hasn't because some of the checks are still there. Um, I mean, I'm kind of curious, like, um, if everything is bought, then why is it bad? Like, you said it's bad and then you said everything is bought. So, like, does it yeah. really line up? Did, did he just pay for the bad stuff? <laughs> no, uh, he just buys he just buys really old projects. Here, let me actually pull up one of my favorite just absolute greatest of all time uh quotes from gast let me let me get it real quick it is here sure just one of my favorite that's gast telling okay. me in dms that he uh clever me doesn't have a clue on how to develop anti-cheats that was in 2019 so Kinda well contra contradicting to this statement which i actually made it into a meme of go, go to artemis.ec Okay. Now he tries to counterplay this this argument, but it's kind of funny. You see the uh, enterprise grade claim? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing it. Read that. Full one-to-one -one Minecraft emulation with developers with over five years of experience. Hmm, that's weird. Guess doesn't have five years of experience in anti-cheat development. He barely has experience as a developer himself. Well, that's that weird. is interesting. <laughs> Uh, and, he tries to claim that and it's then because he, he has people, you know, like, elevated. He, I mean, he kind of put himself in a catch-22 when he claimed that he uh, coded most of the stuff. Because then, um, you know, if you don't have five years of experience, but then you say that the developers have <laughs> five years of experience, that kind of implies that there's other developers. And then after you claim yes, that you're the only developer, you know, that's kind of um, sus. No, no, sus. So, so there is. So I, I know, I know. I, there, I, I know I there are other developers, it. but... I, didn't you just say that he claimed that there's no one other is? No, no, no. Uh, he used to claim that there was no other ones. Okay. And he he still kind of tries to play it off as if like he's the main guy. Um. Yeah. So let me. I, this this one's gonna be kind of hard to show you. Uh, I'm just gonna have to read this part because it's um it's one of those things that I can't really show right now. Uh, I, see, I see. I see. I see. I see. So one of the clips is uh, in the video talks about how gas gas is at the current stage he's at, you know, where, where his anti-cheat is so unstable that you can false it in cobwebs and on glass and by attacking literal mobs and other shit. Um, but 
one of the points I made in the video is that I don't get how this is even possible because he has some of the smartest minds in the anti-cheat community constantly checking his code, helping him, giving him code, letting him buy rights from them. Yet he has still failed to implement, I would say, 90% of all of the code that he's had to buy from people. Like he, yeah. he's failed so hard. Let me go actually get the exact uh, screenshot so I can tell you. Let's see. Here it is. So the screenshot says, uh, the reason I choose to show this in the video, the reason I choose to show this is because this is what almost eight plus months of development with numerous people on your dev team looks like according to Gast. Remember, uh, this is eight months of development, the ability to buy and own rights to anti-cheats, numerous devs assisting him and checking his code all the time. And this is still what he produces. I mean, um, honestly, if I was just throwing money at developers, I would have made the best anti-cheat ever, but you know. I, if, I'm going to be honest. If I was throwing money at the developers he's throwing money at, this anti-cheat would be at a level uncomprehensible by the current product like way better than meow are we talking yes by miles Damn. um he has some of the smartest minds in the anti-cheat community i've worked alongside some of the smartest minds i worked alongside Flycode, lucky uh tune basic elevated i literally have worked alongside some of the smartest people in the entire community and I can tell you from experience, I would have had a product in less than a month that is a thousand times better than what he has produced in the past almost year. I don't know really what else to, to say other than this. This is unexcusable. He has the money, which by the way, none of the money that he uh, has used has been his. He's It's all been his parents. Yeah, uh, he, 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 isn't he like 15 or something? Uh, Like 16, I think. But yeah. oh yeah, that's the other thing. He literally tried to claim that he solely owns the company. That's a lie. Um, I mean, let me go get it, that. Is, uh, is it a real company? It isn't a real company. Yes, it is. It is. is it um, a registered one? Okay. Oh, uh, yes, it is. That's how I pulled the information that I released, which is, you know, kind of a controversial thing that happened. But yeah, I basically technically doxed Gast, but I didn't dox him because it was all public information. I That's the, if that's the literal post. It's in the overflow discord. So to be more specific, he had basically threatened one of my friends by saying um, it's not smart to get into the quote legal game when all he had done is just make a joke about Artemis when, and I quote, your information is public. So that's why that happened. I mean, it's because he tried uh, to threaten okay, someone so by saying you shouldn't be, you shouldn't, oh, so he threatened you shouldn't to be shit talking people. Personal information. Yeah, yeah basically, because uh, Gas said you shouldn't be shit talking people when your information is public. Which, by the way, infers that Gas not only went and looked for his information, but probably got someone to dox him. I will say this, I will say this, okay? I, I do have a background in doxing. I used to. I'm gonna say that. I'm not, I don't brag about shit. Yeah, it, or at okay, least not it's, it's commendable, you it's admit. Childhood. Okay, it's commendable it's to admit. Childhood. Yeah. But the way Vaziak tries to do it, they tried to dox me. Here, wait, I can actually send you uh -huh. what they tried to say with me. They tried to dox me and, like, pull my social security number and my address and threaten me with it. Because I, guess what? Because I had done something against them so this is their docs on me that's that's all the information they could pull on me i i even have the tool they use to pull it that's not my phone number and that's definitely not my previous address i don't i house. don't i don't care what it is i'm not even gonna show it on video because i'm not retarded yeah, I'll, I'll but it, you know it's like even if it was it's not like i was gonna be like uh, oh my god i know your phone number i'm gonna use <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. i'm gonna use one of yeah. them apps that like text bomb you like 50 texts <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's basically the level Gast is at. There's a lot that, that Gast doesn't tell people to make shit seem as if I'm like the super villain here. Like out of, co basically out of, co like out of context entirely, but to make it seem as if like I'm this major super villain that's just falsely accused him of rape. It just makes me understand that he hasn't changed at all. Um, during when Overflow was still a thing and I had made a video on him, I made a video on Gast and I uploaded it and I was at school because this was like a year or a year or so ago it was my senior year and gas messaged one of his buddies his buddy messaged me and he said hey stop or overflow is getting cracked for no reason i had done nothing to this guy and gas tried to claim he had no connection oh no no no, no. it's kind of hard to believe that the guy messaged me out of complete nowhere for literally no reason yeah. was he trying um, to like leak the source code or something no the guy the guy's uh one of the owners of direct leaks and it was back then oh, he basically yeah you know that, that kind of makes sense because like i was wondering the origins of uh this shit in here um yeah no actually actually wait wait wait. um go to the overflow leak i yeah. can tell you where it came from go to, go to source and then go to main java overflow anti-cheat and then overflow plugin.yml that's that's 2.0 that's the one brawny leaked okay uh yeah that's uh yeah that's another one that's 
that's weird. But, <laughs> I, was yeah, just, I was just curious. Yeah, the current one is actually on my GitHub. Nice. Because after it got after it got leaked, I basically was forced to either open source it or have people start selling it. And I'm not gonna lie, that, that's I didn't a good move. That's it. a good move. Yeah, well, I mean, that Vaziak guy is one of the people that tried to cover up the fact that Brawny had scammed someone for a hundred bucks. So kind of ironic. But yeah, that no, that Vaziak kid's fucking harmless without his friends. So I wouldn't pay much attention I mean, to him. Nobody's harmful. It's the internet. Like unless they pull up to well, my no, house and I don't really give a there, shit. There is some there are some people that could cause you harm, but Vaziak's not one of them, and that's that's all I'm trying to say. Either way, that's just that's just fucking hysterical that gas is hanging around him. I mean I'm gonna be entirely I, honest I, with I you. I don't I don't know shit about uh, like I don't know shit about the US, but in here you can't SWAT people, you, you can't get the police to their house. I just now realized, yeah, yeah, you don't live in the US. Uh, I just did the same. I had an hour and eleven minutes. <laughs> Yeah, me too. But you know, um, so I'm gonna send you the edited video. You know, like, I, I, I kind of want, I kind of want it to be like a like a podcast type thing, you know. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be like uh, I'm gonna keep it like eight minutes long, something like that. Sorry, what? Can you, can you repeat like that? eight minutes long? <laughs> oh my god, dude! You're gonna dial down a, a fucking hour long video down to eight minutes, dude. You're gonna have so much fucking editing to do. Uh, <laughs> yep, I'm, yep, I'm I'm good at that, dude. My control and K and control and T keys, they're they're all they're all whited out, okay? <laughs> I I I could never. <laughs> yeah. I have uh the the video I just I recently uploaded, which is like originally was like five minutes. It took me an hour and a half editing it to get it down to four minutes. I could never fucking do an hour long video and get it down to eight ever. I, I that would take fucking years. Dude, I had five hours of footage on the Artemis test server. Of, like I had more footage than I oh. could shoot. But the thing is, uh, you know, I was like, um, you know, if I make it too long, it's gonna become boring. Cause like, you know, I always understood with the funny moments and shit that you know. If you, you, it's kind of a line where it just becomes repetitive and boring, so you need to spice it up. And I didn't have anything spicy. Well, um, if you feel like saying, if you feel like adding anything else, I'm, I'm down to here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what, what parts? Uh, parts? Uh, let me see. Okay, so you say about the um, Artemis uh, and um, Gast um, paying our developers and not only that, but paying people not to talk about stuff. Do you have any example of that? Because that actually made me real curious. Yeah, sure. So one of my friends, I can provide you proof of like the claims of money, I guess. Because the proof I have is like just old calls that I would have to spend fucking hours sorting through footage to find like where we talked about it. Basically, one of the times that Gast had contacted one of my friends, he had said uh, some some stuff where he had offered, Gast had offered him to work on Artemis as long as Gast had all the credit. That's like, that's the thing. Like that document. Yes. Yeah, so if you go to the submissions part of that document, go to this... Okay. And then you'll see at the very bottom, there's a submissions tab. Okay. Uh, look at the very bottom. Do you agree that you're, you henceforth, by submitting this, to this form, give Artemis Antichi and Gas CC irrevocable, immutable, real, retroactively applicable, and permanent co commercial rights to your code? Yeah, because like if you buy the code, you can't. Let me like... ask you. Let me ask you. Why would he have to specify? in so much detail because a irrevocable of... immutable uh fucking re re reactive fucking, uh, fucking just, radioactive shit just to make just to make sure that you know people aren't like know. Um, I, selling no, no, it off the risk. i know i know i think me and you both know what i'm trying to point out though yeah it seems I, I very know. odd why is he why is he trying to get rights to the point where nobody can even talk about it i mean if he wanted to you could say you're not allowed to say anything about it and legally due to that agreement you would not be allowed to yeah but like, um, oh, yeah. he, he was well, just, he, he was, he was trying to make it seem more like, um, yeah, I know, I know. Go back to the document. Yeah. Okay. So look at the requirements. Uh, requirements based on, f uh, flying packets, server side, uh, higher than one MS processing time, uh, and 90% plus accuracy. That's weird. Uh, why is he asking for a 90% accuracy when he's claiming perfect re uh, accuracy? Not only that, I'm just going to go you know, out of my way to... Probably, because like a lot of things don't have like 100% accuracy. Yeah, I know. But let's so be real. Like, honestly, 
I would definitely agree with you, and I usually do because, you know, I always hate it when anti-cheat developers just talk shit and they claim so much shit. But, you know, at this point, that just, you know, that sort of claim just goes through my head like it's nothing because all anti-cheats start saying that, oh, it's like it detects 3.01 reach or, oh, it detects 100% of the time and no false positives, no pressure on the server, all asynchronous and stuff like that. You know, I already got used to this. Most anti-cheats already do this. You know, I think it's scummy and I think... I think it's stupid that the the community stuck to such a fucking low to do this but you know you got you know i kind of fucking i'm so glad that you said that <laughs> you have no clue how glad i am that you fucking said that because like if oh. he was the only one that said it i would be like oh gas that that mother trucker right i would be like what a, what a bad person but no because <laughs> he ain't the only one right well sadly i i, I just I don't know. One of the only one of the other points I wanted to make on his anti-cheat was his want to improve his advertisement, but not his anti-cheat. So, for example, uh, the Artemis.ac website was updated during the time of his development, which means all of those claims are supposed to be meant for the current version. They're not meant to be for the version prior. It's not an old website anymore. This is a very new version of this website. Yeah. So that means Gas is trying to claim that. Oh well, you know, Artemis has quote, unbeatable stability. What does that mean? For for elaborate exemptions, for an elaborate exemption system to full predict system, to a full prediction system, we undoubtedly are stable for production. Really? That's, that's, that's so cow. crazy. That's so crazy, Gas. Tell me more. Oh, wait. Let me see. Let me see. Huh. Uh, l l let's just go look at some of the other things he said on his website. Privacy. We respect your privacy. No sensitive information is kept on your server. I would fucking hope so. I can't, I can't express to you enough the amount of just, oh, I got to put this here because it just kind of like, I need something. I, I didn't have anything else to put here. Like, I think my other favorite part about it is his unwillingness to give refunds. So on his website, on his old website, I don't know. I'm going to try and go look a uh, way back, way back machine. Let's see. Um, On his old website, he had, please, 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 please have the... Please have it. Please have it. Please have it. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, thank God. You see that um, stooped on the mine of gold right now. <laughs> yes, because he fucking... Oh, dude. Oh, here it is. Here it is. All the old shit. Oh, I wanted this so badly. Okay, so... Oh, yes! Oh, dude. Okay, so let me go to Artemis.ac slash... No, wait, wait, wait. I'm looking for his TOS. Give me a second. I gotta find his TOS. You're kidding me. TOS.pdf? Is this it? Oh, it's still here. It's still fucking here. This oh, is shit. great. Okay, so... Okay, he's done for. He's fucking actually done for. Okay, here we go, baby! So... Are you gonna call in I the Duke Strike? Fucking about to, dude. Okay, so... Check out my screen. I am, I am, okay. I can go. Okay, so this is on the Wayback Machine, okay? As you can see, Wayback Machine. I'm gonna refresh so you can uh, yep. see, you know, no edits, okay? So, as you can see, he has a tab called 100% Satisfaction. Not satisfied? We'll give a full refund. Just ask for support, okay? Uh -huh. This is on his website, Artemis.ac. Go to his uh, TOS. Huh, payment terms. You agree to a purchase that is non-refundable under any circumstances. That's is, it the, is it around the same time? Uh, pfft. Do you want me to pull something for you here? Give me a side. Let me, uh... Because, like, um... Because, like, if the TOS is different, is from a different the time... TOS the TOS is the exact same. Uh, let me go... Let me go get it real quick. Shit. Here we go. Oh, here it is. Okay. So, so, so here we go. Okay. Here's the date. Okay. 7 slash 20, 20 slash 20, 20, 20. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Is, is this, like, uh, WhatsApp or something? Or Telegram? No, this is Telegram. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this is the original, this is the TOS, okay? This is, this is proof. This is the actual TOS. I'm, I'm not seeing um, the TOS, I'm seeing uh, the, um, okay, now I'm seeing the TOS, right? Oh, uh, okay, there we go. So now I know how to make it so you can see it too. Nice. Okay, so, so this is the TOS, as you can see the date. Where did you get that information? Yep. Okay, so, oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is actually, uh, Gas went and literally live changed one of his, uh, checkout TOSs to make it look like he hadn't said certain things. Uh, it was drafted, but... Oh, it yeah, it, oh, yeah, and then he tried to claim that it was just a draft version that he accidentally made public, even even though it was public for literally like over a year and oh here it is here it is okay wait I, I was trying to find this this part okay here we go here we go here we go here we go just showing off the stuff inside the video so you can see it yeah so the, throughout this like he basically tries to lie to people to make it seem like he's the victim here but damn look at how many people who were in the voice chat yeah oh here we go 100 satisfaction the claim yep yep <laughs> Yep. oh my gosh 
Okay, l l I'll just let you watch up to the point where we watched in the video. He falsed his own check in the video trying to show off that it doesn't false. Uh, wait, you were not flagging my, uh, any of my aim checks, uh, only Omni. Disabled them for a time we're merging them into the new aim prediction. He, he said, so, uh, wait, so you're showing, uh, you PvP to prove it doesn't false, but you disabled the checks. This is, again, some more evidence of gas just false advertising at will. Okay, so he tries to call Overflow out for being $15 a month and suggest Kari when they're the exact same price. I couldn't show the other one. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Okay, here it is. Anti-leak. Our anti-leak code impl uh, in uh, implementation, uh, we can easily monitor the plugin. Uh, this way, you can guarantee that your purchases are unparalleled uh, in premium experience. Numerous times now, but my protection is literally just a boolean. Well, oh damn, really gas. That's unparalleled and premium experience. Oh, remember the mob falls? Just remember that. This is where I stopped and we started arguing because gas tried to claim that the claim wasn't false or some shit. Uh, -huh. uh okay, he said it, uh, that's impossible. The check wasn't even on. Uh, he actually <laughs> accidentally had enabled it. But anyways, so that's just a little bit of proof towards why I, uh, I mean, I I'm just going to be real with you. You know the Tony Stark quote uh, in, in, in the original, like, Iron Man 2 movie? Yep. Uh, it's it's at the very start of the movie. But basically, he says, um, so here's here's the quote. This is probably the best resemblance of uh, me against Cast right now. Because this is exactly what I've done. It's right after this. What more do you want? This. This is, that's literally it. Just Damn. I tried to fucking play ball. I tried to play ball with that ass clown, but I fucking can't. He lies. That's all he does. That's how he gets out of situations. So well, it was nice catching up. Uh, I'm gonna start editing, and you know, I'm gonna show you like <laughs> um, show you like um, like a finished result. You can tell me like like what I've missed on, and because obviously I'm not gonna show everything from this one hour in those eight minutes. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Adios.